Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, we're just gonna be cleaning up these OEM 437M wheels from an M3, M4, and M2s. They come with these, you know, from the factory. And let's take a good look at them. So I actually bought these off a forum member on Beamer Post. So it's a really good condition. Just a little curb rash on one of the couple of these wheels. A little bit of curb rash, but Nothing crazy, but right now I'm just going to be cleaning it up and getting it ready for some ceramic coating. And let me find the ceramic coating. I'm going to be using this G Technic C5 wheel armor, and it's pretty simple. Just make sure your wheels are clean before you apply the ceramic coating and just you know follow instructions with applying it onto the applicator pad and just slowly work it side to side up and down make sure you hit every corner and crevices so your wheels are protected so I'm just cleaning it up with some soap and water I'm actually using um, Griot's, Griot's Garage Brilliant Finish Car Wash and just putting in a bucket of some water and just using a microfiber towel to get all the dirts and oils and just make it clean as possible so the ceramic coating will do its job perfectly fine. I'll get back to you guys when I'm completely finished ceramic, or cleaning um, all four wheels and keep you guys updated. So we got all wheels cleaned up with just soap and water. Now I'm just going to be using this Gion Prep spray that will basically just clean any surfaces on the wheel to make it degrease and remove any residue that may be on it still. So the actual ceramic coating can ad adhere to the wheels more perfectly and cleanly. So. It's just a safety precaution as I did use a lot of car soap. So this car soap is actually really nice because it's pH balanced. And so it will not strip away any, let's say sealant or coating, for example. So it's perfectly balanced and will not remove any actual sealants or coatings. So by using this, I will be for sure removing any extra stuff that I cannot see on the surface but from what I can tell I did a really good job once I hear this scraping on latex gloves I did it's pretty clean right now they are currently going to be mounted with these new tires I got and here, I'll just show you guys. They're currently in the van. I'm about to head a bell tire to get them mounted and balanced. But these are Continental Extreme Contact Sports. So max performance, max performance summer tires. And they do pretty good in the rain. You can see this big rib part in the middle. Kind of dissipates all the water. Kicks it out. And it's dry and wet. The signature Continental you know, marketing terms. You got the dry and wet patterns on here, so it works perfectly great on dry surfaces and wet surfaces. And I guess the sizes, I could tell you guys, these are in the front, they're 235, 40, 19, and the rears are going to get 265, 35, 19. new huff sensors for the TPMS sens sensors and the great thing about these are these are a new batch of sensors and they are black which match these wheels perfectly the valve stem of you know the tire pressure where you can inflate or deflate your tires are actually black and the previous I guess batches were orange and this should be perfect with the valve stem being black chromish uh, so yeah these valve stems are black and the previous batch 
I mean, the Valsum was chrome or like a silver steel look, but these new ones are just all black. And I'll show you the other, the actual sensor. This is just the spell stem. Here is the actual sensor that will be placed inside of the wheel um, barrel area. Yeah, as you can see, they're black and they look really nice. Pairs up really well with the, the black finish of these 437M wheels, so I just kind of give it a look. That's what it'll kind of look like sticking out up here somewhere. So it's really convenient, it matches it, and you know, you won't have any kind of chrome or silver kind of, I guess, messing up the flow of the the wheels all right guys got all the wheels and tires loaded up into the van and I'm gonna head the bell tire to get these mounted and balanced and also can't forget the TPMS sensors and I'll keep you guys updated once I'm back and with the wheels hey guys got the wheels and tires back from bell tire and I have them mounted on the car currently the new 437M wheels Actually, they're used. I got them from a form member, and these came off an M2, but they, they are the same specs as the M3 and M4s. So 19 by 9 in the front with a plus 29 offset. And in the rear, they are 19 by 10 plus 40 offset. So this has a deeper concavity. So let me try to get a better look. Yeah, these are pretty concave in the rear and the front as well. So these are OEM forge wheels that come off, you know, for the factory M3s and M4s if they have that wheel option selected. So these are pretty lightweight. I believe these are like 21.9 pounds in the front forge. So if you know the wheels won't bend or crack and the rears are about 22, 23. So these are the old wheels, the Vanti Hybris. These are flow formed, and as you can see right here, I actually have a giant bend on one of the wheels, and that's probably because I hit a huge pothole. And with these low profile tires, it did not protect this outer rim area very well. So low profile tires in Michigan are a no-go so keep that in mind if you have really really thin tire walls these are 255 30 20s so 20 inch wheels crazy thing is these are significantly lighter than these OEM forge wheels I'd say about a good five pounds with the setup because I could lift this with about one hand. It's like 50 pounds. Let's see if I could get it and compare it to the new setup. Oof, that's kind of heavy. Yeah, for sure, that is heavy. So 50 pounds right here. This whole setup. Just a tire and wheel. So I guess a pretty drastic change in design. So these are gloss black with like that machine face like a machine gray face so it kind of gives that contrast of deep black in the back and the front face of these actual wheels are kind of a machine gray or a gunmetal gray I should say and this is a shoot like a machine silver kind of dirty right now with the brake dust I mean I like them both. Got to get that bend repaired. So right over here, it's a giant bend. Probably hit a huge pothole. Got me good. So yeah, the tires are on that are on these wheels are the Continental Extreme Contact Sport. They're max performance summer tires. Uh, these are Falcon Zenith FK510s and they are ultra 
high performance summer tires. I could tell a little bit of a difference, but for sure, these are you know thicker sidewalls. I could feel a little more comfort, but I could yeah I could also feel it's a little bit more sticky because these are max performance tires compared to the ultra high performance summer tires on these wheels. So the edge with nimble and agility for sure. This lighter setup with the flow form advanced wheels, but this it feels really good, really similar to the OEM feel, but I have that summer that summer performance tire so i guess i could put down more power comfortably with this setup with the oem 437m wheels but these feel nimble and really agile like every turn and twist i take on you know with the steering wheel it feels precise and really really nimble compared to this it does feel a little bit heavier in the steering and road feel because again these are heavier and not as light as these overall I really like this new setup and you know definitely look into these wheels if you want to keep that OEM plus look and a lot of people run these wheels you know on the Beamer post forums like the F30 post and they look really great on these cars and I for sure would recommend them because the offsets look amazing in the front and the rear so you do get a little poke on that rear but it looks perfect in the front yeah you also get decent amount of poke Ooh, we got a wheel running so yeah, these front ones are squared right here. The Avanti wheels, they were 255 squared all around, all four. This is a staggered setup. Yeah, as you can see, a little poke. Sticks out a little bit, just a little, just a hair, about half an inch maybe, not even a quarter of an inch. But I like it, it looks really aggressive. And these tires, these Continental Extreme Contact Sports, they, kind of give it that stretch look with the sidewall because I don't know I think that's just the way Continental makes these tires the sidewalls will kind of bulge and give you that stretch look and I'll give you guys a better angle right there you could tell it bulges out and stretches around it which is good for protection of your rims slash wheels whatever you want to call them Here's the rears. Tires on the rears are 265, 35, 19. Tires set up in the front are 235, 40, 19. So it keeps the X-Drive very happy and there are no problems as because it's in the 1% range of the overall diameter. Whoops, that almost fell. So yeah, if you have an X drive, go with this setup because you don't want any transfer case problems with the um, your X drive system. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed this new wheel video. And for sure, I did have a squeal with these wheels because they were lighter weight. And one of you guys commented on my videos that said they have the same setup as these Vanti wheels. And they asked if, they ha if I had the same squeal and I definitely did. And I noticed it the very moment I mounted these wheels and tires on the car. I think last summer. And once I put these new wheels on, the actual squeals went away. And we came to the conclusion that these tires and wheels, actually just the wheels were just that much lighter that it didn't create enough I guess pressure or allowing the pistons to grasp on the brake pads to create this that stopping the stopping noise without creating a stopping noise this kind of was so light that it didn't need enough pressure like it was just so easy to stop on that these 
uh, brake pads probably just apply just a little bit of pressure on the pistons and the actual rotors so it created a little squeal every time you stop it was like ee, ee. but no more squeals with the new setup all right guys take care i'll see you in the next video oh yeah guys i totally forgot to tell you that these are coated with the ceramic coating from g technic it's called c5 wheel armor and i have a cup here with some water so let's see how the hydrophobic properties are with this coating yeah, so far looks pretty decent it just repels all the water and beads it up and the face of the wheels have two coatings of the g technic c5 wheel armor c5 wheel armor and the back has about one coating so as you can see it's a little bit hard to see these wheels are kind of dusty and dirty too so let's see a splash of water yeah the water doesn't stick to it so brake dust and cleaning should be really easy of these wheels with this ceramic coating so I only give you guys side shots uh, so let's give you guys a rear shot so this is with the 265 um, Continental Extreme Contact Sports in the rear so let's see how it looks so far it looks pretty good poke wheels tires Here's some more side shots of the rear, kind of a better angle. You can see the poke, about a quarter inch, a little bit. So here's the front. It's a lot more poke in the front for sure. Yep, 